daisy chains and sweet champagne and two days alone with you not too far from the city by car oh maybe we can make a more romantic trip by train to the country it's where i want to be Welcome back to what will be part 18? 19. 18? Or no, 19. 19. I God, if I can get those things straight. Oh my goodness, what a journey it's been this summer to complete these three uh, projects, the apple presses. It's been a long, hard, uh, hard build this time, keeping everything going in and out of all the other projects I've got. But we're there today. Um, today I've managed to finish off two of them completely. The third one, I'm only uh, this far away. I'll explain it in just a second. But there, uh, since uh, these two are um, slightly different in configuration, and the third one is going to be pretty much exactly like this one, um, you know, we'll be able to show you what we've got and what we've done here. So, oh my goodness. Uh, step back and take a look. Um, they are. Uh, they're done. They're, I mean, what else do I say? They're done. They're complete. And um, uh, since the uh, last video, let's take a look at the final touches that we did. So uh, come on down. If you can do that coordinatedly. As we come in here, we have the uh, motor mount. This is going to be a tricky one for me, uh, folks. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to get this motor mounted on here because if you come around, this motor is a lot lighter than that motor. Now they're both face mount, but my concern was this mount. This motor isn't as heavy. It's I think about 18 pounds. It's not that heavy, and my original mount was if you come around this way, is this essentially it's a big paddle, and you can see here if I lift up on this. I just let the let the motor rest on the belt, and it sits here. And this is going to be my new handle or hanger for that. Good place to put it, don't you think? But the uh, uh, the the motor mount is done for both of them, and there's slight di there's major differences in it. This is the way I was doing it up in Montana, and I really kind of like this way, but. I had to improvise with this one um, and I went with some materials that I have and this is kind of uh, I almost want to say overkill but it's big it's bulky and because this thing is heavy I was really concerned about putting all that weight on the one leg because it would want to you know kind of rack and twist so it was like at the last moment I came up with this and it's the same way it just literally just rests on the belt to hold it in place um, of course you see I've got the switches the switch plates here right next to where the operator needs to stand when they're putting the apples in so that if there's any issue you can imme immediately kick this thing off um, this one's a little trickier in its uh, neatness because um, this motor that we used to get had an external capacitor and in order to put it in, see like this one, they have a little uh, case for these two capacitors that's built onto this, but this one didn't. And so it's not as neat, uh, and that's why I'm keeping it on mine. I like the neater motor that we have with the, uh, uh, with the, this, uh, the newer one. Far more expensive though. And then uh, a good, uh, good eight foot of heavy duty cable that we put in and a nice little plug in. So what we're going to do is quick demonstration. Are we not pulling? There we go. It's not pulling the juice through the, the power cord. It's a long extension, but there we go. It's new, ready to rock and roll. And come take a look. Oh, I do have that thing wired backwards. Whoops! <laughs> that thing is turning the wrong direction. 
Oh, that's going to be interesting. Mm. We sit there and I got it all wired up. And I turned the thing on and it looked right. Because it was sitting backwards to you, maybe? It might have been because it was sitting backwards. This one's not. So, for those of you who think I can do no wrong, and there was a few comments not too long ago, Aaron, you can't mess up no matter how hard you try. Well, mm. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, so, there we go. This is the little, uh, little higher RPM motor. Take a look. What no step around here, honey? You know better than that. And that thing's just rocking, can you see? Got to eat up an apple in a hurry, or a pear. And let's see what else. So we got we got the motor mount made. We got the uh, motor on. We've got it wired, and then we got it branded. Um, I, I've already shown the legs, the feet, uh, and we. Um, I don't think I showed the press plates. Come around over here. So the uh, nuts were welded on the press plate, uh, on the um, on the arm plates, I should say. So we got that installed, and of course this goes down in there. So run that thing up real quick. So I think if if and when we can get some apples it's hot i think that's probably why i got it backwards because the last hour when we wired that thing up both of us are just drenched with sweat mm -hmm. um if and when we can get some apples um that this um late summer early fall um and I'm, I'm i'm starting to do some looking around for some orchards that are near us um i think part 20 will be a a operations video we'll, we'll, we'll do I know I've already got one up but we'll do another one showing these in operation so what we'll end up doing is demonstrating how you bring the uh, pallet with the barrel under your scratter box and then you'll start you'll have an operator that stays over here so nobody should be over here on this side you should only have one operator here you'll have your um a tub of apples that are in in um in some water or something where you're washing off all the you know bird poop and stuff you get that cleaned up and then you'll be putting the apples in here it'll sit there and chew them up all the pulp will go in here you'll end up sliding this forward I get my fingers on it like that and then it will go in you'll have a uh, some kind of cloth that goes in here we use uh, the, the nylon laundry bags at um, that we get from the Wally world and they fit in here nicely and then we'll take and fold those over so that the bag is um, kind of uh, twisted together on top I'll explain that when we do a, a um, how to use video or, or number 20 video and then this will slide down and we'll center it so that this goes on top of it and then this will come there and then it'll just press and squeeze and you'll run it down and press and squeeze and then that juice comes out it's just that simple ah, this has whipped us whipped me getting these but we're done we're done all except for the okay now I got to figure out how to rewire that one <laughs> which kind of sucks but I know how to do it um, we'll get it done um, there was when we were sitting there reading the wiring diagram it says we'll switch the uh, the orange and the brown mm -hmm. right the orange I think so yeah the orange and the brown we'll have to look at it uh, to get it because it'll go either way and I could have swore sitting there looking at it that I had the right way. I said, looked at it and I said, this is right, this is the way. And then, then boom. Oh, but you can tell I'm exhausted. So anyway, um, 
The only thing I'm missing on the other one is to build another one of these frames. I have the material to do that, and that'll get done within the next day or so. But we are done. We are done. And can you tell the excitement? <laughs> we are done. And, uh, oh, you folks tell me what you think. I mean, I put a lot of um, time. You look at, show that. I mean, you look, look at the, I'm not the star, that's the star. And the press plates, and the baskets. And there's a little difference here. I made this one a little bit bigger because I had a slightly wider board that I could use for that. I'm not sure that that's going to matter because uh, you're still going to have a large quantity of um, pulp. Oh, we got a hawk. Yeah, the turkeys don't like that. But I like I like this motor mount better. I would like to have found some more of those motors, but I think I they discontinued. They them. discontinued them. Well, you get them at surplus center. Surplus center only buys up what companies don't use for production. So um, you get what you get. You don't have a choice. So anyway, um, there you go. What do you think? I think you did a wonderful job. I think we did a good job. You did a lot of help on that too. So. All right, folks, I think that's all I got for you. I'm worn out, and now I'm a little frustrated because you get to see my boo-boo. Oh, I'll go through and fix that, but we're, we've got it. I think this is it. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for uh, coming along on the journey. Um, when we get some apples, we'll do a part 20 of the build. Uh, we'll, we'll show a demonstration of how it works, and we're going to make us some apple, apple juice, um, and we'll talk about... Uh, all the things that you can do with the products that you make from 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 processing the apples to get the juice there's a tremendous amount of stuff that you can do everything from animal feed to well we'll go over that then but for now mm -hmm. oh there you go what do you think folks leave your comments tell me what do you think of um, um, my craftsmanship Sonny it's right there come get it my friend come get it Time to get it. All right, that's enough for now. Y'all take care. It's good to uh, good to be done with this. It's been a long, hard project. This will be probably the first of the outtakes that we've. We'll have to start doing this where we screw up our screw ups. Oh my God, uh, folks! Um, tell you the heat, the heat, and maybe it's the. Uh, <laughs> energies from space I don't know what it is but so um, we're sitting here looking at it and and Tia goes, let me she says I want to look at this she says I thought it she says uh, I thought it was right why was it turning wrong she comes over here and flips the switch watch and I grab it to give it a little push since you know it it's needing a little boost and look at that now it's turning in the right direction see it's turning in the right direction now come around over here I'm going to flip the switch, watch, and since I turned it that way to start with, that's the way it runs. Now let me turn it off, turn it on, now it's going the other way, now it's going that way. So um, my dad, who I have a hell of a time getting along with, used to have an old um, I always call, I always thought it was arrogant. I always thought uh, what a pompous ass he was for saying it. But he used to say this all the time. He's, he, you know, because it was to to, you know, he acted like he couldn't do anything wrong, and he, he would say, you know, once once I thought I was mistaken, but I was only mistaken. I was mistaken. <laughs> I was still right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was going the right way the first time. But. Yeah, anyway, that's how you like that for an outtake. Woo, my goodness, did we do something right. <laughs> Not wrong. All right, enough of this. Y'all be blessed. Take care. And let's hope the cool air gets in here before too long. our brains bake too much. <laughs> Take care, everyone.